Hey guys, it's Sasha with Rice and Raw. Excuse my appearance, I've been working from home, and this is what happens when you work from home, you look like crap. But anyway, I wanted to share with you a what I eat in a day video. Um, I've been tracking my nutrients and intake and all that through my fitness pal uh, just for a few days. Every once in a while, I like tracking my food for uh, about a week or so just to make sure that my macronutrients are where I th think they're being and my calories are where I think they are. So um, it, it's really helpful for me to kind of gauge where I am instead of saying, oh, I'm following this program. It doesn't work. I'm actually breaking it down. What am I doing? Why isn't it working? Or why is it working? What am I doing right? What can I improve on? Things like that. So I'm going to just get down to it. So of course I started off my day with a smoothie. Uh, in this smoothie are blueberries, strawberries, oats, organ, chocolate, vegan protein powder, maca root powder, three bananas, almond milk, and a scoop of amazing grass powder which has barley grass, wheat grass, and alfalfa. And here's a breakdown of exactly what was in the smoothie on my Fitness Pal app. And for lunch, I had some leftover rice uh, that was in the refrigerator, and I had that with a little under half of an avocado. And I did I uh, wrapped those up in a little bit of roasted seaweed, and then I dipped it in some light soy sauce and sriracha mixed together. So I usually like to split up my dinner into first di dinner and second dinner. So. My first dinner was a bit more of a snack. I had some leftover salad from a vegan restaurant in the town over from me called 21 Oak. And this salad, it was actually a lot was left over. My dad ordered it and wasn't feeling it, so I brought it home with me. And this has kale, arugula, uh, is topped with a green goddess dressing, which is made from avocados and all this other good stuff. And then it's topped with a little bit of uh, homemade cashew parmesan cheese. And then I followed that up with some craisins and some cinnamon oat clusters with flaxseed from the Kind brand. And for second dinner, Joe and I went out to our favorite restaurant called Angry Tofu, and we both got our usual, which is the sundubu, which is a Korean tofu stew, and they make it vegan for us. And I, of course, rice comes on the side as well. I probably should have gotten some extra rice because I flew through it pretty quickly. Uh, but we also had some panchan, which is the Korean side dishes. And I had some bean sprouts, and I really just housed down their um, tofu. It, was, it has caramelized onions on. It's so, so good. I go crazy on it. I always ask for seconds and thirds. And then later that night, I had a little snack of lentil snaps, which are flavored with tomato basil. They're so delicious. They're really fun to eat as well. And I wanted to share with you guys my macro breakdown of uh, the food I ate in this day. So I only ate 2,600 calories, and I usually try to aim for 3,000 calories in a day. Uh, but some days, you know, you just don't hit that mark. Um, if anything, my minimum is like 2,500 uh, for the day. Uh, that's what I'm pretty comfortable with, 2,500 to 3,500 I'm pretty happy with. Um, but unfortunately, my macros are not where I'm hoping they would be. I was hoping more of a 70% of carbohydrates, but um, I only had, I had under 400 grams of carbohydrates. So it's really good sometimes to, to track what you eat in a day to make sure you really are eating what you think you're eating. I like doing this every once in a while to make sure that I'm on track and get me back on track if I'm not. And um, my fat intake was probably a little higher than... Um, ideal, but I really don't mind it being at like um, 70, 80, 90 grams in a day. And then my uh, protein, which I've been trying to up my protein a little bit more just uh, because I've been lifting. I'm trying to put on muscle. So this was the first day I started tracking my calories. I decided that there are some things that I can definitely work on. I think that day would have been so perfect if I just had maybe like 400 calories of just plain rice um, along with my second dinner. I think that would have been perfect. But you know what? I'm not perfect. No day is ever really that perfect. Um, I don't really focus on these kind of things. I do definitely eat more intuitively. Um, I don't really like using that because I think it's definitely hard to eat intuitively if you don't know how to eat a vegan diet. It's definitely very difficult, especially a high carb vegan diet. And say you're coming from a standard American diet, how are you supposed to eat intuitively when you have, like, that's just like, night and day really. So once you get used to eating this way, I've been eating this way for over three and a half years. Now it's so easy to me. I can definitely eat intuitively, but this helps me kind of, you know, 
make sure that I am doing it the way that I want to do it as well. But then I don't have to overthink it all the time. I only do this one week out of like maybe every two or three months. So I'm gonna be putting out more of these type of what in a day videos. They're pretty easy for me to put together and they can be pretty short so they're easy to watch. And um, let me know in the comments below what you guys wanna see. Let me know, I wanna know. I'm kind of um, having a bit of a creative crisis right now. I don't really know what to talk about these days. I feel like everyone else is covering all the topics and it's like I'm just going to be saying the same thing. So uh, just let me know below what you want to see from me and um, I'll see you guys later. Have a happy and healthy day. Bye.